everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is dimma today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine video in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys basically how to make your skin glow because there's this glow that i think i've achieved and i have it on lock of recent a couple of you have also been commenting in my videos asking for an updated skincare routine video because you guys did notice and i'm also going to share with you guys how i've managed to stop my breakouts for good like i've barely like had any breakouts this year i have very little hyper pigmentation from the breakout episode that i had towards the end of last year and guys those breakouts that i got in this area towards the end of last year was as a result of a skincare mistake that i was making i did not even know that i was making this mistake i was so ignorant of the whole thing if you've not seen the video that i did recently where i shared some common skincare mistakes that you're probably making please check it out i'm going to have it linked somewhere in this video and i'm going to have it linked in the description box okay so very quickly um i'm going to just say why I was breaking out last year I did not know because you guys are going to see from what I'll share in this video that <laughs> I've barely changed anything since my last skincare routine video and if you follow me you know that I do skincare routine videos once a year I don't do them more than once a year so the sole reason for the breakouts that I got on my face in this area especially towards the end of last year was a satin wrap that I was using on my head so that fabric that satin fabric that you get with bonnets head wraps and even sometimes pillowcases that they sell in beauty supply stores guys they can actually lead to very bad breakouts because what happens with them is that they don't absorb like oils be oils from your face be oils from your hair so the oils kind of sit in this on the surface of like these fabrics and you put them or tie them very closely to your face they just lead to breakouts your skin is also not breathing like your skin is not getting a lot of air through like the fabric so it can lead to breakouts it was crazy because when I started kind of suspecting that the wrap was breaking me out I switched to a satin pillowcase the same type of fabric and what happened the breakouts even kind of low-key got worse the pillowcases are even worse because I don't know my skin likes cotton so if you're black like me and use a satin bonnet because it's something that is actually recommended for our hair to protect our hair or you use a satin pillowcase but then you have oily skin and you see that you're breaking out the satin fabric you get with these like bonnets wraps pillowcases could actually be the culprit so consider taking it out of your routine i think that this is very very important and i wanted to get it out of the way before moving on to the products that i use on my skin okay so to cleanse my skin in the morning and in the evening i still use one cleanser and it's my nocara neem black soap and it looks like this um you guys can see that i have a little bit here and there's some of it left on the sides so if you're wondering what a new jar looks like it looks like this okay it comes like this wrapped you open it up and then you get the soap inside i'm not going to open this right now until i'm ready to start using it i realized later that neem actually has antibacterial and antifungal properties and as a result it's very very good at kind of killing or stopping bacteria that could easily lead to breakouts for a lot of people. So morning and evening, I cleanse my skin with an acquiring neem black soap. After cleansing my skin, I go in with my Bolden toner. You guys can see that I have very little left in here. So I've been using this toner for years. I think I first showed you guys this toner in a skincare routine video in 2017 no not 2017 2018 i first showed you guys this toner i believe in 2018 that's when i first tried it and loved it and i've been using it ever since so this toner is is a skin brightening toner diminishes the appearance of dark spots tightens and refined pores prevents breakouts controls oil and shine so that's what you get with this okay so i'm just going to just work this into my skin i always use just a flat cotton pad and i go over my skin gently with this one one thing that i've been doing of late is just whenever i'm working anything into my skin i take it upwards this is very very important and a tip that i think everyone should adopt i don't care how old you are late teens early teens early 20s mid 20s late 20s early 30s it doesn't matter this I think is a very good technique to use when applying a toner so after using the toner and after it settled into my skin I go in with a treatment so the treatment that I use is the same one that I've 
been using since like forever. I had this in my very first skincare routine video. I think that I shared on this channel in 2015. That's a long time. Like I've been using this ever since. The Acne Oc treatment has 2.5% benzoyl peroxide in it. Benzoyl peroxide is also a very, very good active ingredient for people who have acne prone skin, people who are prone to breakouts basically. Benzoyl peroxide is antibacterial too. So with this, I think it just kind of doubles down on what the neem does. I've been using BP, benzoyl peroxide, way longer than I've been using the Noquire Neem Black Soap. So I know, I'm telling you guys that this would just like get rid of your breakouts very very quickly I don't use too much actually I just use like a pea-sized amount put it on my skin and then I work it into my face okay after I've applied this on my skin I'm going to give it some time and wait for it to really settle in so everything that I've kind of shown you guys at this point I showed you guys last year this is the exciting part now so this is the part where you guys start seeing the new products that I've incorporated into my regimen and why my skin has been glowing of late these three things that I've shown you guys now are just very good at just halting the breakouts for me that's essentially what they do so once the treatment has settled into my skin i go in with a serum for a very long time like i think as as far back as forever i've never actually shown you guys a serum and this i think that it was very very important that i start using after the hyperpigmentation that i got last year from those breakouts which i've stopped now once i stopped like tying my face down using the satin wraps and satin bonnets but i had hyperpigmentation and i wanted to do something for my skin to just help them clear up really quickly so what did i do what did i incorporate to my regimen that has actually helped a lot with my hyperpigmentation and also kind of just helped i've seen that since i've started using this my skin feels a lot more supple a lot softer and just not as dry because one thing that you'd get with benzoyl peroxide sometimes is that it can be a bit drying right but it's like a necessary ingredient it's something that you need to use to make sure that you're not breaking out but then it can be a bit drying sometimes so the serum that i've started using is one by a brand called you skin it's a nigerian brand so this is one of the few skincare products that i've ever tried from a nigerian brand outside of soap that i really really love so it comes in a bottle that looks like this so this is the U Skin C Serum. It has 20% vitamin C, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid, okay? It says for flawless, younger, perfect skin on it. And it also says professional face serum, guys. This I love, like I love it so, so much. So what I do, because it comes with a dropper. So what I do is I take two drops, one, two, okay? And I just like dot it all over my face. Focus on the areas where I tend to get small lines and where I have obvious lines. If I feel like the two drops that I took is a little, I'll add another drop just to make it three drops, but I use about three drops max, okay? And I just take my time and I work this into my skin. Guys, my skin loves this thing so much. And one of my biggest worries, actually with a serum, was that I didn't want anything that would break me out. And guys, this one has not broken me out at all. So you can get this serum from Utopia Beauty. I've talked to you guys before about Utopia Beauty. They sell products from other brands, but then they have their own range of skincare products. So they have this vitamin C serum, and then they have this natural glow face moisturizer. The active ingredient in this is retinol, hyaluronic acid, green tea, and vitamin E very similar to what you have in the serum and then they have a rose petal and witch hazel alcohol free toner too so this is what the toner and the face glow moisturizer looks like I love the fact that they put a lot of effort into their packaging everything is so well done doesn't look like rough or anything the only reason why i haven't opened these up truthfully is because i already have moisturizers that i was using by the time i got these i did not have a serum so i was very quick to open up the serum and just start trying that out and let me tell you guys i love the serum so 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 much you can buy these products from utopia beauty they have a store in lucky phase one i'm going to have um their address and their website listed in the description box and outside of just selling these they also sell most of the other products that I will show you guys here. I know this from experience. They sell Acne the Ogg. They're one of the first Nigerian brands that I ever saw 
sellingacne.org and like I told you guys last year you can get Nokware products from them they carry a wide range of products from international brands Nigerian brands they have a variety their products are very good quality they don't carry fake or imitation and their prices are really good they deliver nationwide and they also deliver worldwide as well so if you want to get the serum or any of these products that I've just shown you guys check out Utopia Beauty if you're also looking for a place to buy quality skincare product not necessarily the ones that I've shown you guys from you skin the other brands that I've kind of mentioned that they carry check them out the details will be in the description box so after using the serum I go in with a moisturizer and that's the end of my skincare routine for me so right now I have three different moisturizers that I use and I'm going to explain to you guys why I have three different moisturizers so the first one that I'm really loving I already shared with you guys on Instagram is this wishful honey balm it looks like this this is from the Huda Beauty skincare line wishful and I've been using this since last year and this is what I'm going to use in this video it looks like this and this is my daytime moisturizer for the days when I am not leaving the house or days when I'm wearing makeup this moisturizer is very hydrating like the hydration you get from it is so intense that I remember the first time I used it I was so scared that it might break me out just because of how hydrating it was my skin was literally glowing by the time I was done working this into my skin but guys I've not had one single breakout from it the reason why I only wear it on the days I am at home or under my makeup because my foundation has SPF. The reason I only wear it like that is because it doesn't have SPF. That's the only reason why. But it's a very good moisturizer. Once you're done working this into your skin, your skin is going to feel so hydrated and silky and just glowy. If anyone sees you in person, they'll be like, oh, you're glowing. That's how good this moisturizer is. The second moisturizer that I like to use, I use this one for days when I am spending time outdoors. So if I know I'm going to be going out, I'm not wearing makeup and I'll be spending some time under the sun, then I use the La Roche moisturizer. This is their double repair face moisturizer and it has SPF. 30. I already shared this one with you guys on Instagram as well. It's very hydrating too, very moisturizing. And the thing I like about this is the fact that it does not have that very, very heavy SPF smell that you get with moisturizers that have SPF 30 in them. So this is my go-to moisturizer when I spend time outdoors. And the good thing about it is that it does not break me out, okay? I have acne prone skin and it doesn't break me out. The last moisturizer that I use, and this is my nighttime moisturizer. So for nighttime, I basically do everything that I've shown you guys so I use a cleanser I use a toner I use a treatment and to finish everything up I use this and this is the Yves Rocher the Pure system stop blemish lotion this was the same moisturizer that I showed you guys last year the active ingredient in this is salicylic acid and I started using this just to kind of control things but I don't use it during the daytime anymore it is now my nighttime moisturizer so I don't use these three moisturizers together just to clear things up I use one at a time different times of the day or depending on what the occasion is or depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing that day then I use a particular one so that's basically what I do what I'm going to go over now are things that I tend to get questions on first one that I know I'm going to get is Dima how do you take your makeup off I use Johnson's baby wipes I've told you guys this for years and years now this is my go-to wipes for removing makeup and it is not expensive like before the Naira started getting crazy this was selling for like 200 Naira in some cases 150 but I know that you can get it for about 600 Naira right now so it's not an expensive wipes to use I went to a pharmacy recently and I saw the Neutrogena the blue wipes that you know you which is very good also for taking makeup off but guys it was selling for six thousand something in this economy i'm not spending six thousand something on wipes so the johnson's baby wipes is the first thing that i use to get my makeup off after that i go in with my clinique take the day off cleansing balm I have also shown you guys this in almost every skincare routine video that I have ever done from the first one. It is my go-to cleansing balm for makeup. It does not break me out. It does not clog my pores. It does not do any bad thing aside getting my makeup off and I love it so much. So things that I do once a week, do you use a scrub? Yes, I use a scrub. I know that some of you like to know. And my favorite scrub at the moment is the Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. And I use this once a week. I don't use this more than once a week. And this is very good because exfoliation is good for the skin but I don't do it more than once so this enzyme scrub looks like this this is from wishful the same brand that I get my regular moisturizer from and then I use a mask like guys with masks I'm not very picky it just depends like 
two that I'm really loving is the Thirst Trap Mask from Wishful. It looks like this. I know that you guys can barely see the name of the brand on it. It's on this end, but this is very good. I'm also at a stage in my life where I'm taking moisture seriously. I use that mask once a week, or it could be this one. This is the Pixie Glow Glycolic Boost. Yeah, Glycolic Boost Brightening Infusion Sheet Mask. They are both sheet masks. Last, I know that some of you are wondering what I use on my skin. And right now, guys, the lotion that I am using is this one. Is this Eucerine one. I've been using this since last year. You guys can see that. I am almost out. And this is the eczema, <laughs> eczema, this is the eczema prone skin, eczema relief cream. Guys, I told you guys that I was having some allergic reaction last year and a lot of you thought that I was you. People be like, oh Dima, I'm sure you're using some new fancy body lotion. What is it guys? This is what I've been using. This is what has saved my life. And it has helped me like just tackle some of the issues that come with dryness that I've been having from my neck down. From my neck down, I have normal to dry skin. And that's the reason why I never use products that I use in this area. On this area, my face is very oily. My neck downwards is very normal to dry. So these two parts of my body, they require different types of like moisture and hydration and all of that so with this area I tend to go like really deep and intense with just moisturizing with my face I tend to stick to things that would not clog my pores so this is what I've been using and it's worked great for me it has colloidal oatmeal skin protectant and it's worked for me so this is what I have been using if you're someone who is dealing with any type of dermatitis any type of allergic reaction on the skin or if your skin is very sensitive I actually recommend this because it did the work for me like it did it I'm not going to say that I'm very very excited about it but it got the work done without making things things <laughs> worse for me I would say and then lastly for the days when I'm spending time outdoors right I use the black girl sunscreen because a lot of you ask me what sunscreen do you use on your body Dimma so I've told you guys now that on the days that I spend time outdoors I use this moisturizer on my face and on the days that I spend time outdoors I use this black girl sunscreen on my body from my neck downwards it's very good it's also not heavy on the SPF smell and it gets the job done okay so i hope that you guys found this video helpful and i hope that it answered your questions if there's anything i didn't cover in this video that you think that you need to know just leave it in the comment section i'm going to try to get to your comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up guys giving my video a thumbs up actually helps a lot it goes a long way for me and my channel so please do that if you enjoy the things that i shared in this video my skin can you guys see just how it's glowing can you guys see it's one thing not to not break out but it's one thing for your skin to look this supple and healthy i really love that so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed i'll see you in my next one